Hey everyone, it's Roman Kozak here. Today I'd like to bring you a video of a project I've been working on for quite a long time. Um, what this is, is it's a device that translates gestures, hand gestures into actions on a smartphone or computer. So its main feature is to translate sign language into text and speech. And it is completely wireless um, Bluetooth because um, it's Bluetooth enabled. This is powered 100% by Arduino and open source code. In today's video, I just want to give you a demonstration of the device, um, what parts it uses, and how it works. But in a future video, I will definitely uh, make a tutorial on how you can build your own, um, basically, gesture glove. And I will release all my code on my website. Now, taking a look at the hardware, you can see that the glove has five flex sensors. And these flex sensors detect the bending of the fingers. Um, so how much the fingers are bent. I also have a Memzik dual axis accelerometer and this detects the position of the hand left, right, front, um, and back. I haven't really done any gestures with speed yet. Now all this sensor data is fed to um, this board right here that consists of voltage dividers and drop down resistors. I mean sorry pull down resistors. And this also has a red, green, blue LED for um, status indicating. So like I have this um, on blue for when the glove is calibrating and on green whenever the accelerometer is activated in its different positions. Then um, a header cable carries the data to this main board which is actually uh, Arduino lily pad. And there on the bottom of the Arduino lily pad I have a cheap Bluetooth module that I got from China that works amazingly well even though it was only six dollars. Um, so I got that off Deal Extreme. Um, and also as my power supply, I have a 9 volt battery along with my inline uh, voltage regulator here. So um, like this is all wireless, but if I ever want to program it, I have to use an FTDI converter, which is a, a digital to serial converter, I believe. And that just plugs into the lily pad here. And then I have to unhook the TX and RX pins from the Bluetooth so I can upload my code. But um, other than that, these um, things can all disconnect, so if anything fails, I can always rebuild the module, not have to rebuild the whole glove. So everything's really portable, comes apart like that, attaches easily. And yeah, that's the hardware of my glove. Now how about um, I get onto a demonstration so I can do the letters A, B, and C and show you guys how this glove works. So first thing to do is to calibrate the glove and that's by pressing the calibration button and the blue LED will light up giving you 5 seconds to wiggle your fingers around. After this period the uh, glove will be calibrated. Now for letter A and now letter B. As you can see all the data is being displayed on the um, computer in real time wirelessly. So um, also included in the um, basically serial port is all the sensor data and their values just for debugging purposes. The sign language translator can currently do 18 letters of the alphabet along with a couple extra gestures. I am currently working on text-to-speech and a native iPhone and Android application. All I have running now is a desktop application for Windows. In the future, I'd like to style up, style up my glove um, and fit all the components neatly into one package so nothing is touching the wrist. Thanks for watching um, this video and I hope you found my project interesting. Don't forget to check back in about one to two weeks when I'll release my video on how you can build your own sign language glove so it'll be an in-depth tutorial. And please visit my website techclimax.com and Tech Climax is a technology blog that covers everything new in consumer electronics, gadgets, and science. Also, please um, visit me on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube at Roman A. Kozak. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and if you like my project, please hit the like button and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Catch you next week.